Hey everyone. Okay, so today I want to do a few things. Uh, this is my iPhone, so I don't know if it. I don't know how it's gonna work because <laughs> I haven't used it in months, and it's always like just uncharged near my yeah you know, <laughs> where I sleep at. So I don't know, and it only charged up to fifty percent. I don't know what's going on, but I didn't charge it the whole thing so I just needed to take it off so I could like start filming something real quick um okay so today I'm going to remove the camera today I'm going to do a few things I'm going to do a little taste test real quick just to test out how the camera looks and everything the iPhone I'm still in the process of moving my um some of my files from my phone phone to um uh, external storage because it's like it's already saying you know it has too much stuff on there and i think it's the videos mostly because when i looked on what was on that camera on that phone it was saying like the pictures and stuff had like a whole bunch of stuff but i don't even have a lot of pictures on there in fact i have more pictures on this than so i know it's the videos because i didn't really do videos m much until i got that phone so we'll see um, today, I'm going to do a few things. I'm not going to show everything on camera, but just to kind of say what I'm doing today, I'm, um, going to be making, if anyone remembers that show, um, Semi Homemade with Sandra Lee on Food Network, that was one of my favorite shows, because it's like kind of saying, um, you can kind of half AZZ everything, <laughs> and it's still kind of homemade, because you did put your touch. Uh, I'm going to be making a stock, just... Um, because I need to make, I want to make those noodles that I like the ramen with chicken because I got some, I got a chicken from Boston Market and, um, obviously I can't get the juice, the juice from that, but I could put that chicken in it, but so, um, but I don't have any more stock because I used it all on that rice casserole. So, um, I do have, let me see, um, Garlic. My garlic. Excuse me, guys. I got all a few ingredients here. Um, better than bouillon, and this obviously is like gonna be. It's basically it is stock. It's already done. But I alone, I don't. This is not enough for me. Like the the ones that you can buy, like the commercial stocks, aren't enough for me. Like I need way more going on. So. Everything is just mixed up here, you guys. I just threw everything on the table. Um, okay. Some of this. This is, like, what I put mostly in everything. Ooh, and something's missing from what I was going to put in it, actually. Um, okay. Some of this. Some of this. And a little butter. Excuse, I got the whole bag out. I'm just using a little bit of this. Don't worry, y'all. My arteries are fine. Um, oh, see here. A little bit of this. I got this at the 99 cent store. I like the Louisiana version of this better. But the Louisiana brand, because it's not really spicy or anything. But, you know, I just got it because I do like it, I guess, to an extent. And then, obviously this. You guys, this stuff is so good. They have it at the 99 cent store. If you live near Laverne, that 99 cent store has, in addition to my favorite diet Mountain Dew, they have, um, they have this, a lot of this. So get this for the holidays. It's really good. It's their version of Mrs. Dash. And it works, it tastes really good. I even, like, tasted some of it, just out of the bottle. And there's something in this that is really good. Um... I actually like the ingredients. Cornmeal is obviously like the main base of it. Dehydrated vegetables, garlic, onion, parsley, sugar, herbs, and spices. I just like it. I like it better than Mrs. Dash. So here it is. If you go to their seasoning aisle at 99, they have it. Big Lots has a good one too, if you're near Big Lots. And they're cheap. They're only a dollar. And then this, I got at Winco like a few, maybe a month ago. Um, I sometimes add it to things. Like, I take this with me to work sometimes. Just put it in stuff that 
Um, like if I buy it on the road, or on my way there, um, if it just needs a little flavor, I just do this in my bag. But um, this is what it is. It's called it's pink Himalayan salt. Um, this salt. I thought it was pink salt, but you know what it just says? It says white summer truffle salt from France. I don't know. I thought it was pink salt. <laughs> I knew it wasn't just pink salt straight up. I knew it had truffle in it or something. Um, earthy white truffles infuse a distinct yet delicate flavor into a coarse salt. And you can put it on everything, which is why I like um, scrambled eggs, omelets, risotto, baked popcorn, potatoes. Okay, um... So yeah, this is good. I probably I don't know if I would get it again because the price is like five something. I probably wouldn't get it again just because it's truffle oil, truffle style. I think it's more expensive, but um, it doesn't wow me or anything. But I don't mind adding it to this because it's it's good enough, you know. So I'm glad I got this because I was basing everything on that being pink. I don't know why it's pink, you guys. Don't make fun of me if you guys know um, that it is Himalayan or something. It doesn't mention anything about being Himalayan salt though. So, I'm going to make a little stock with that um, to make my pasta later. Um, okay, and this has been a gem. This is really good. I put this on my mashed potatoes from Boston Market. It was good. I just put a little dash, too. And I'm not saying my dash. I know my little peanut gallery out there. It was a little a literal dash because it was already seasoned. And it was seasoned pretty good, actually, like, for, like, a fast food type restaurant. You know, like, Boston Market is, like, semi-fast food. So it's like it's not like McDonald's style, but it's but um it was their mashed potatoes, like my mom always said they were really good. I was like, those ain't nothing special, they're just instant or whatever. But no. <laughs> they're I think they are really made there. Not made there maybe, but they have the chunks and everything of like homey Thanksgiving style mashed potatoes. So they are really good. Um but I had to put a little of this because I just like things tasting a certain way. So I put a little bit of this and it was good. And this is like I don't know if it's necessarily healthier, but it just has a little bit of everything. Um, I've seen it because I'm in a cooking group called, um, oh my god, Sisters and Brothers That Can Cook. <laughs> but anyone can join it, you guys. If you, I'm going to show it on Facebook. If anyone can join it. It's called Sisters and Brothers in the Kitchen or something like that. And I saw a lot of people using this. Um, when they show every once in a while that house, like, what is in your spice cabinet? And, you know, I can't show all of mine because I would get totally talked about. Because I have so many that I don't even use all the time. But I do, you know, like to have a lot on hand because I like different things. How different things taste, so. Okay, so salt. This is just salt, black pepper, sugar, spices, natural onion flavor, natural garlic flavor, parsley, celery seed. And you guys, don't get scared like when there's sugar and stuff because sugar is obviously a filler because I was talking to this guy on um, Instagram who, he owns his own spice company and he um he put up his spices and everything and he was saying, look, I don't have no sugar. Like, notice that Lowry, all of them to put sugar, which I still use them because I like them and I know they don't put enough sugar. Even though I like a sweetness sometimes to my food, um, they, they don't put enough where you're going to notice, you know. But he told me the reason they put, these companies put sugar is because it's a cheap um, filler. Oh, it's a filler. So, they they gotta put, as long as it's not like the first ingredient. But in here, it's like the third. I don't, I didn't really taste it when I put it in yesterday. But, um, it's a filler product. You know, it makes it have bulk to it, so it fills up this bottle. Um, like for this, I don't think this has sweet buttermilk. It don't mention nothing about sugar, but anyway. And then this again. So then, you guys, I'm gonna be making. Okay, I know I showed my body oils yesterday, or the other day on my way to work that came in. Sorry, I'm a little like scrambled. Um, I showed my body butters yesterday, the other day. My excuse me, what are they called? Fragrance oils. And you guys, okay, so I read up on something about citrus um, fragrance oils or essential oils aren't good for, like, um, to put on your, to wear out, like, in the sun because they do something. I forgot what it's called. Um, the sun gives it a reaction, so it does something to your skin. 
Um, and then I got that, but I re remember just today that I bought that lemon sugar one, and I wanted to use that in a body butter. So if I do use that, um, I might use that in a small amount because I'm going to make a big batch of the stuff and then just fragrance it as I want to. So um, I'm going to make like a small amount of maybe like the lemon sugar, for example, and then a small amount of the candy corn or whatever, and then, a, you know, a bigger amount of the marshmallow. I'm going to make one today that's a marshmallow. Um, what was the other thing? Marshmallow. I forgot already. I don't think it was banana. Marshmallow banana? I don't know. I was, there's another scent. Um, another one I was going to make. Marshmallow. Um, something. I'll, I'll get it together when I'm doing it. But, um, because my cocoa one that I made, the one with the almond and all that, I, uh, I'm almost out of that. Like, I've been using a lot, and I've been getting compliments on my skin. Like, someone at work told me, he was like, um, you smell so good. Like, you know, he could smell it. But then I don't know if that's 100% my concoction or what, because I mixed in, um, the one that I bought off Etsy because she, hers didn't smell like chocolate at all, you know. So I had to use, like, a lot of my fragrance oil just to make hers smell what I wanted it to. I think hers was either old or, I don't know, but when I looked in it, it had chunks of, um, shea butter and stuff in it. So I don't think she rushed it because I, I messaged her saying, um, are you, uh, I didn't say it like this, but I'm just gonna, <laughs> how I'm saying it. But I said, oh, um, so do you know when my thing's gonna ship and then she just said oh it's coming tomorrow so like you know i think she just rushed it um so it's kind of made me leery a little bit with etsy but other sellers are very very like reliable everything their stuff comes the way it's advertised everything so i don't know but yeah i was disappointed in that um but because just because I know how to make that butter, I know how to make the shea butter mixture like that. Um, I can tell when the job's rushed because there shouldn't be clumps in it at all. Like, it's like you blend it to a point, you know? And usually if that happens because it's not mixed, like, she, when she got it out of her refrigerator or whatever, she didn't really spend the time. She just kind of was like, and then that was it. And I've never, I've even done blending shorter time than that, and it doesn't have the clumps in it. So, I don't know. She just really rushed through it, where it was old. But anyway, um, you yeah, guys, so that's one thing I'm going to do. And then, I'm not going to, obviously, I'm not going to do all this on camera. I'm just going to do, um, the taste test in a minute. And then, um, something's boiling on the stove, my hot water, because I need to do that for the, the double boiling for the oils. I'm going to just make, yeah, like I said, a fat a big amount of the uh, shea butter coconut mixture and then uh, the only part that is a little different is the hair and the skin have different things for me like I have with the skin I have to use less oil and I have to use certain you know products yeah, also in addition to the oils um, the tapioca search for example has to go on my skin oil because so it's not as greasy. The hair oil doesn't need tapioca starch. It just needs the oils and it needs a little bit more of the oils. Um, I'm trying just to be as candid as I can be. My hair, I'm trying to grow it out a little more. It takes a while to grow our hair, but um, but look, so I don't know what's going on here. Um, my I feel like it's like receding. <laughs> I don't know. I hope not, though. But I found some recipes on YouTube uh, for hair growth. Um, it's the same base what I make, but you put certain oils in it. So I'm going to see. I probably, I hope I have some of those oils. I think I do. Um, and, okay, you guys. Another thing is, I am still, I'm not ready to debut my little YouTube to Facebook yet. I just, I'm not ready for you guys. I just, I have it up already, and I have a few of my old videos on there, but I don't want to do it yet because I'm not ready yet. I still would, 
I'm trying to decide what direction I'm going with it. But so stay tuned for that. Okay. Monday's my you know my day when I do my cooking videos and or my butters or whatever I'm doing. With the holidays, there's gonna be a few more cooking videos coming, so stay tuned. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna do the taste test real quick, and then I'm gonna put uh, turn that part off, and then um, get everything start getting stuff mixed up for my butter, and then uh, okay, you guys. So let me get started. Okay, so they have this. Um, they don't have this flavor at work, but they have um, the mocha and the vanilla at work. Vanilla sells out a lot at work, so it must be really good. I did try it. It was good. They all are kind of sweet to me. Um, they, for a can, they have 29 grams of sugar. And, um, me and Lorna, when we were at that Taste of Soul, they taught us how to, like, calculate how much scoops of sugar is in each item based on... The sugar amount divided by four or something that shows how many teaspoons of sugar so this is 29 divided by four is about seven and some change teaspoons in just this can but you know that did help me change though because i used to drink those um arnold not arnold palmer he that's the brand but it's um the strawberry um oh, what was it called strawberry lemonade like the tall cans not strawberry lemonade Strawberry black tea or something. I don't know. But they sell at 7 Eleven and Circle K and all of them for real cheap. And Winco. And well, um, they told us how to calculate it. And the girl was saying, Yeah, in that one can, you're drinking like, even though it says light lemonade or light, um, it's a lighter version of the original, I guess. She said, That's still about 13 school teaspoons. And I'm like, you know, so after that, for some reason, like, I stopped really drinking those. I used to drink those a lot. Um, so, it does, you know. But with this, I'm just going to test test this. I've tried the mocha. I've tried the vanilla. They're good. They had this at Rite Aid for about two for five. So, we'll see how this tastes, you guys. And, um, <laughs> I don't want to be TMI, but where's it at? I can't just drink... Or, where is it? I don't know where I put them. Um, oh, there it is. I can't just drink or eat as I've gotten older certain things anymore without preparing. Um, <laughs> with, with, for me, okay, preparing means I gotta take, like, maybe, since this is a dairy product, like, maybe two or three of these fast acting lactate things. <laughs> just to be safe. Because this has dairy in it, it has milk in it. It probably won't do anything, but I just got to be safe because that stuff, you know, if you know anything about it, it makes you, like, kind of incapacitated for a while just because you feel a little, because uh, the dairy. I don't know. It wasn't like that when I was a kid, though, or younger. Ooh, it's, like, really creamy looking. Okay, you guys, so taste test, white chocolate, double shot energy drink from Starbucks. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, before I do that, let me see how much. Now, they have the caffeine listed different than, like, the red, the rock stars and all that. They name, like, the different sources that the caffeine is coming from and, like, the amounts. So, it's, they'll say, like, tyrene, tyrene is 1,800 um, milligrams. Ginseng is 325 milligrams. Guarana is 90 milligrams. So, yeah, they don't spell it out the basic terms, you know, layman terms like the way the other companies do. So, I'll come like, I'm kind of like, I don't know, Starbucks, but. Okay, taste test. They all taste the same to me. Like, I don't necessarily taste white chocolate. White chocolate has kind of like a. Mm, it has like cause you know how white chocolate isn't really real it's like kind of a created thing um I don't know the vanilla the mocha and the white chocolate all taste the same to me from this company um okay this is something there but it's like I don't know it's good I mean, it does its job as far as, like, taste and caffeine and all that. 
I would probably give it maybe a six. I don't know if I would go out of my way to get it, but if it was, you know, between this mocha and the white chocolate, I probably would pick the mocha just because I like that the most. But yeah, it's okay. So yeah, I give this maybe a six out of ten. You guys, so give it a shot if you like this drink. This drink, this is really popular though. Like I said, I work so this this company's drinks. They don't sell this flavor, but they do have the vanilla and then mocha. So, if you like Starbucks drinks like this, try it. Mm -hmm. mm. Sorry. Okay, anyway, so, you guys, I'm going to get everything set up. And I got to find one of my body, my little fragrance oils that's in my right now. Um, <laughs> that I was going to use in today's co concoction. Um, I'm going to do marshmallow and what did i say I, was, I had planned it mentally i gotta write this stuff down it's gonna be marshmallow and okay i gotta see which one's missing unfortunately gotta look on this list this thing um okay so it's gonna be so. but it was one that came the other day um or like a week ago so today's is gonna be uh, some of my marshmallow oil, and um, it wasn't gonna be the candy corn, but I just want to smell this one. I don't know if I should put that one, you guys. This might be good for like my hair one, but you know what? I'm so bummed about what I heard about citrus oils and stuff in body. And body oils and body butters and stuff because it's one of my favorites to put on my body. I love this scent of citrus stuff. Um, I mean, of course, I can still do it, but it's just I would have to be really careful when going into the sun. And since the weather is still really um, sporadic right now, I'm just gonna do what they say as far as that because I don't need another added thing to deal with. Because it might not hurt me now, but maybe in five years it'll hurt. This stuff smells so good. I got it from Walmart. It's the lemon essential oil from Better Homes. Oh, my God. Dude, I love citrus. <laughs> okay, you guys. I'm going to get everything together, and I will be back later to make my um, butter. I'm going to make hair butter and another skin butter. I'm running out of skin butter already. I, I'm kind of bummed that I don't have the chocolate. I didn't order it, reorder it yet. Because that was, um, it smells really strong. Even later, like, hours later, I can smell it. I go, or I just smell it when I'm walking, I can smell it. So I did really good with that. The almond thing disappointed me, but, um, so yeah. I just like that it's really moisturizing. It's really nice that, oh, I made this, and I'm just putting it on, you know, while I'm putting it on. So yeah. Um, but anyway, you guys, um, thanks for watching for now, and, um, I will be back in a minute. All right, bye!